Rapper, I look fine and my chicks to fine. No wonder, wonder why I do whatever I like. I do what I like, I do, I do, I do what I like, I do. I Thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Chaz and I am back at it again with another YouTube video. Every time I say that, I just hate that I say that. And I always make the same damn face. Like, so before we get into this video, if you are new to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay connected to me and everything that I'm trying to do on my channel. And if you have been around, thank you again for watching this video. I like really, really, really appreciate you. That's my way of giving you kisses. <laughs> I really appreciate you all very, very much. Make sure throughout this video you uh, like it at least once at some point. The video is going to be the Get to Know Me tag. And I decided to do this video because I finally hit 700 subscribers. <laughs> So if you are not familiar with how the Get to Know Me tag works, um, a lot of YouTubers do this. I pretty much just watched a couple of videos and I just composed a whole bunch of questions like all of these are questions I'm not gonna do all of them because I don't have time and you don't want to watch a video that's that long okay but I'm just gonna pick some of them and I'm just going to answer the question okay the first question is what's your full name my full name is Chazity White yes Chazity not Chastity but Chazity Okay, which is why I like to go by Chaz because it just works. It's easy to say. You don't gotta worry about how you saying it. But next question kind of goes with the same one. Are you named after anyone? Um, I don't think I'm named after anyone, but you know those parents who have a child and then they try to just like have all their kids' names like go together. I think that's what my mama was on with me and my brother because my brother is a year. Yeah, he's a, two years older than me, and his name is actually Chaz with two Z's, and I'm the baby. I came after him, and she named me chaz -y. So, just trying to do, you know, you ever see the parents, they got like a Deshaun and like a Deshauna, like, <laughs> okay, next question. Um, who is your best friend? I don't really think I have a best friend, but I probably would say, um... I don't know. I don't think I have a best friend. I um, how old are you? I am 26. I just had a birthday June 18th. Have you went to college? Yes, I have went to college. So far, I only have my associate's degree, which is a two-year degree from a community college. And my degree is in human services, which is kind of like social work. Um, next question. What's your favorite type of movies? My favorite type of movies I love, like thrillers so movies that's like oh so that's who killed her like i didn't even know that's what like them type of movies you gotta put together i love them type of movies that come together like at the end or you just always on your toes trying to figure out what's about to happen like i'm that type of girl i also love like romantic movies movies that's gonna make me cry because they just got this perfect love story do you have siblings yes i have siblings i have two brothers and two sisters and i'm the youngest how tall are you i am five two she's five two is this do the song say five two or she's fine too i don't know um are you single <laughs> I guess so, yeah. I mean, I don't guess so. I am single. What am I talking about? Yes, I'm single. I've been single for a while. I was a sophomore in high school, and I was dating this guy, and I heard that he was talking to the, We had just broken up, and we were at, a like, a basketball game or something, and I heard... No, it was New Year's. It was, like, a New Year's party at our school, and I heard that he was talking to this girl, like, in the hallway, and everyone was coming up to me, like, Chaz, Chaz, like, uh, we gonna call him D. D talking to this girl in the hall, they all caked up, cuddled up, he hugging and kissing all on her. So I was sitting on the bleacher, and I was like, what, what? And I jumped up to go get him and the girl, and I fell down the bleachers, and I like sprung my ankle, and then the ambulance came in, and they rolled me out, and uh, he came up to me and didn't say nothing. The only thing he said was like, you gonna be good, and like tapped the little, um, was it the stretcher that I was on like you gonna be good and like walked out that's the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to me because I was trying to be bad about it and I ended up going to the hospital and I was on crutches for like a month or so afterwards 
you. Uh, favorite holiday. My favorite holiday has to be Thanksgiving just because I love to eat. Uh, favorite childhood memory. My favorite childhood memory will have to be when I was, um, I don't, I can't think of the word for it right now, but I was at church and like I had got the holy oil on and I had got like hands laid on me and I had like fell out. Like, you know how you like pass out when like the Holy Ghost goes, goes through your spirit? That happened to me and that's one of my favorite childhood memories because that feeling of me like just falling out and being unconscious for, I think I was unconscious for like 10 minutes or something. It's a feeling that I just, I, I can't even put words to it, but it's, it's real. Like it really happened. Like when you see people pass out like that. You always like, oh, they playing, they acting, but no, the Holy Spirit really do go through you, and you just faint. So that's like, and I was young, I probably was like ten or like eleven when it happened to me, and that's something I'll never forget because I really felt the Holy Spirit go through my body, and yeah, it's one of my favorite childhood memories. Um, favorite sport? I don't play any sports. I'm not that type of girl. I don't like the sweat. I don't like nothing about it. Favorite food? Oh, I love to eat, y'all. I can eat everything. But my favorite food would have to be tacos. Like, I can eat tacos almost every day. I love tacos because you can just put anything on them. You can dress it up and make it good for you. It's like the best thing ever. Um, what is something you wish you can do? Something I wish I can do. I really wish that I knew how to dance. I don't have any rhythm. Like none at all. Yay! I can't I can't dance. I really wish I could dance. Um, I really wish I could sing. When I was younger, I used to think I can sing. People used to tell me I can sing, but I don't think I can sing. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> I used to think that I was wild enough, and I used to think that I, I don't know the song, well enough, but I'm always my time trying to figure out, that ain't the right song. Oh, oh, nah, I wish I could sing, cause I, can, I can't do it. Uh, favorite color, my favorite color is red, I love red because it's just so like, like it's so feisty, it's so sexy, like red just make you look like Okay, like it's it's just it's it's the color. I, my biggest fear, my biggest fear is I have two biggest fears. My biggest fear is my mom passing away and like just yeah, my mom passing away and like how am I gonna find out? How is she gonna pass away? Where am I gonna be? What am I gonna do? Like that's one of my biggest fears. And my other biggest fear is like being kidnapped and like tortured. Or being kidnapped and like held in like a really confined space like inside like a coffin or something or inside a closet or underneath the ground or in somebody's truck or like yeah I can go on but that's um, who has left the who has left the most impact on your life hmm. I probably will have to say my sister my sister Bianca um, Growing up, she was really big on, like, disciplining me and stuff like that. And I never really understood it until, like, now that I'm older. And back then, she had just so many, like, lessons of love. But she was so hard on me. And I just, like, didn't like her back then. Like, I hated going to her house. I hated everything she had to offer. It wasn't until, like, enter entering into, like, high school where I understood, like, her. Like, I understood her and what she had to offer. So I probably would say my sister, just because, like, watching her, I've learned how to, like, be a woman. I've learned possibly how to, like, be a wife when I do find a husband. I will also say my mom, because my mom, y'all, when I say my mom is a hustler, and my mom knows how to make something out of nothing, like, it's her. Also, just, like, the lack of not having things that I should have had provided by her, but she didn't give me, like, that has, like impacted me if that makes a way um let's see i'm gonna do a couple more and then we're gonna almost be finished but i hope you are enjoying this video so far um let's see my your favorite shows so my recently favorite show 
is 13 Reasons Why. I love that show. I love uh, the Half and Half Knots. That show is bum. That comes on Upper Winfrey Network. Where are you from? I should have said this in the beginning. I am from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. If I had a map, it would be like somewhere up here, all the way up here somewhere, where the cows and the cheese and the Green Bay Packers and all that stuff is and where you have winter for like seven to eight months out of the year facts yeah what is my favorite feature i would have to say that my favorite feature is my eyes hello what is one item that you can't leave home without one item that i cannot leave home without y'all is my baby lips lip balm by maybelline i absolutely love that stuff if i uh, what is your biggest accomplishment? My biggest accomplishment will have to be moving into my place. Like, I absolutely love my house. I have a house tour coming soon for you all. Um, I did it on my own, by my own, with my own money. And, like, I'm just so proud of, like, this, let's say. Who is your favorite artist? My favorite artist is going to have to be Janae Aiko. I think I said her name right. I hope I said her name right. Absolutely love her. That is my girl. Her music is like but good. But let's just do one more. Um, what is one of your insecurities? I am insecure about my back. I have like acne on my back and I don't like it. It's doing a lot better now because I've been like doing hall remedies and all this stuff to like try to clear it up. So it's doing a lot better. But I'm trying to embrace my flaws more and love myself more. So now I'm more comfortable as of these last couple of months like wearing stuff like this. And I'm just like, whatever. You don't like it, don't look. Close your eyes, okay? So it is what it is. But that pretty much sums up this video. I hope you all enjoy getting to know me a little bit more. If there was something that you would like to know that I did not answer in this video, just comment below. I'm not girl that would just give you the answer to video and i will see you all in my next video take care of yourself remember to live your best life don't let nobody tell you nothing and do your damn thing okay okay all right talk to you all later i had to get out in the camera like <laughs> bye guys love you